So we're doing the um, updated tour on our preferred launch partner, Momentus. We're here with Nigar. Hi, Nigar. Hello. Yeah, uh, Nigar is going to give us an updated tour of the Momentus facility, including the manufacturing facility. So let's get started. All right, awesome. Great. So welcome. Um, what we have here in the um, entry lobby area is a full-scale model of Vigoride. Um, this is going to be uh, what we're going to fly in our first demo mission in Key Suite of this year. It's a one-to-one -one scale model. You can see on this side we have our uh, deployment mechanism where we uh, connect our customers onto. We can replace that with CubeSat deployers. And in the case of our Q3 mission, there will be multiple uh, 12U deployers on this platform sticking up, but the 12U deployers come right. out of the page. Um, sorry, I <laughs> told you. We have uh, solar panels here deployed. We put all of our uh, avionics and electronics there in the center and the two sides. We have all of our water tanks. If so literally it like, looks like an interface between yeah, the upper station launch vehicle and then yeah. the customers go here, right? Exactly. Yeah. Right. If you look over here, we have different vacuum chambers that we use in order to run tests on our propulsion systems. We have a thrust stand in this one. And basically what the function of a thrust stand is, is that you um, put the propulsion system on it, you measure the amount of thrust it, it gets, using mm -hmm. like equivalent to like a scale. You right. fire it in one direction, and the scale tells you how much yeah. thrust you're generating. And we do that in a vacuum to simulate the environment of space. Mm -hmm. So we have data on the ground to compare to what we get on orbit. Amazing. And we do a lot of qualification testing in this lab here. So we have various chambers testing the different types mm -hmm. of thrust. What is this? It looks huge. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is uh, the newest. Uh, a uh, thermal vacuum chamber we've gotten that we're going to use to qualify our next generation of thrusters or high power thrusters. Mm -hmm. You can see some of the equipment here that we're going to use, the magnetron and the power supply system. And basically the only thing this stuff is waiting for is to upgrade the power in the building because mm -hmm. it draws so much power. Oh, I got it. To do it. So moving on, um, we have our uh, parts of our machine shop here and also we have another building where we um, have a uh, three-axis CNC machine, where we uh, do use for rapid prototyping. Um, and you can see we make parts such as this. You see this is a, uh, what our Vigorite structure looks mm -hmm. like. Um, this is a model of it made out of aluminum that we use for testing and mm -hmm. eventually even the models in space. Great. Made. So this is our amazing team. They are uh, basically all the rocket scientists behind the technology that we're flying. Amazing. So yeah, they're generate they're they're testing the uh, high power systems, and what you see here is like the microwave energy generation source going into the thruster that's then in the chamber, and that they're measuring what mm -hmm. the uh, result and outcome is. So one uh, interesting thing that we do, for example, in this lab is look at some of the commercial technology mm -hmm. that's um, been mass produced and basically optimized and figure out how we can potentially take advantage of it in flight. And so right. Remember how I was telling you we want to make satellites the price of cars? Yeah. That's how we plan to do some of this stuff. So what you see here is an array of different magnetrons, which is kind of the source used in the microwave oven mm -hmm. in your house. So we bought a bunch of microwave ovens and took the magnetrons Really? <laughs> and we're testing them here and we're Amazing. cycling them. And if you want to say anything, yeah, you can, we, we can show some. Yeah. You might learn about your household uh, mm -hmm. microwave oven. You know, that's what it looks like, I think. Mm -hmm. It's exciting. Yeah. So, literally, yeah. if you take it out, this is how it looks like? Yeah. And I have that at my home and in my hotel? Uh, if yeah. You amazing. Home, if you have a microwave oven, that's exactly what you have. What you have. Well, that's uh, just a uh, <laughs> microwave amazing. oven, and we, we pull it up. And, uh, because they are mass produced, right. it's less than the, the price of the Yeah, and they should be the really cheap and affordable. Itself, so, it's like a few tens of, uh, of dollars. Right. Uh, but that's another way what we would, uh, for example, do some quick um, uh, testing or, or measurement of the, uh, the thrust. It could be the same thing about um, almost, and scale. almost household. You know, it, it's a bit more precise than the regular mm -hmm. uh, scale that you would find uh, there, and then we would measure thrust uh, by different uh, kind of things. Right. In our acceleration lab, we have a big crew of people, just as many people working in this lab to mm -hmm. uh, accelerate the progress of our technology as we do in our spacecraft lab have a, a 3D printed model of our uh, big ride, mm -hmm. and we use that for, you know, fit, uh, checks. Figuring, fit checks, for figuring out how we're going to lay out the harnesses, and making sure that everything is laid out. Mm -hmm. We model it, of course, on computers, but having a something that you can actually hold on exactly. to and make sure that everything looks right is awesome. This is where all of our engineers sit. Right. 
is where we have all of our Rock the Senkis crowds in one area. We have our promotion team, our spacecraft team, our um, business development, and everyone is co-located mm -hmm. here in one office. This is a cafeteria area. Um, qualification model for our first mission in Q3 of mm -hmm. 2020. It's sitting right there on the table. That's mm -hmm. what we took to the um, operation testing. And we did, yeah. We will have the spacecraft integrated um, if they're CubeSats, for example, mm -hmm. here in our clean room. Um, and if they're uh, larger satellites, mm -hmm. um, in some scenarios, we might have them integrate at launch base. At the launch base, we would integrate, uh, mm -hmm. support all the integration onto the launch vehicle, do any final testing we need mm -hmm. at launch base. And then also, we provide the um, on-orbit um, support. So we um, operate the vehicle mm -hmm. on orbit up until the point where we deploy the satellites okay. into their custom orbits where they want to be. Yeah, thanks, Singar. That's that's very impressive. It's, oh, a, you're it's a very decent upgrade from what we've seen here um, eight months ago. It was less than 30 people, and none of this existed. So looks at, like you're on track to successful missions this year. Yeah, Amazing. we are very excited to execute our demo missions this year and to move to a quarterly cadence next year. And um, we have all the facilities mm -hmm. now to make that happen. And we're continuing to expand. So we're going to continue hiring. So if you know anyone looking for a job, let us know. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Yeah.